Hey everybody and welcome to Lex's World and my episode on light intensity or illuminance, usually expressed in lux. If you've watched my old episode on light spectrum basics, then you already understand that having the correct spectrum and par rating in a light is more critical to pay attention to than hitting the right lux levels when you're growing cannabis or other plants. Typically, you don't have to worry about getting enough illuminance since direct sunlight is very intense, while grow lights tend to be manufactured with high intensity as well. Most growers can get illuminance roughly right just knowing that they need to buy grow grade lights, that they should hang them as close as possible to the canopy without causing heat stress to the plants, and that these HID wattages right here for bulbs correspond roughly to these areas of coverage. LED grow lights vary, but they do tend to have a manual telling you what their rough maximum coverage and HID equivalence is. Beyond these basics, most people just don't get into initial lumens of bulbs, never mind lux on a given surface area. But if you're testing a multi-light system and trying to figure out exactly where your light reach ends so that you can get the spacing right and save some electricity, or you're an outdoor grower and you're trying to find the limitations of those partially shaded areas, then measuring illuminance matters. So let's talk about how much of it cannabis needs at the canopy level and how to measure it. So head-on direct sunlight on a clear bright midday is anywhere from 30,000 to 100,000 lux, depending on where in the world you live and the angle to the sun. Getting close to 100,000 lux is pretty tough. You can see me trying here on a very bright day, pointing directly at the sun and only getting about 88,000 lux. But reaching 35,000 lux on a nice clear day is easy at any angle in North America. Here I am getting 40,000 lux just a few moments later at a slight angle from the sun. High energy requirement plants such as cannabis need 10 to 30,000 lux of light at the canopy height during flowering to grow well. They only need about 8 to 13,000 lux during seedling and vegetative phases. Myself, I like the 22 to 28,000 lux range when it comes to cannabis during flowering. But you'd be surprised at how low of a lux value you can get away with and still have the plants grow. This is why cannabis grown in shaded or frequently overcast conditions still get some results. It's worth understanding that very few plants can even utilize over 45,000 lux and most of the plants that can are cactus-like. Above 70,000 lux for a prolonged period, all sorts of damage starts to happen with a plant like cannabis, such as bleaching of the buds, and you're almost certainly having heat stress as well from whatever the light source is. There's a lot of confusion online about what minimal light intensity cannabis needs to grow properly, with people quoting far higher lux figures than what I just gave. That confusion stems not just from salespeople always pushing higher intensity values, but also because there's confusion between initial lumen output and lux. A typical HID bulb gives off 90,000 plus initial lumens, but lux, which is just an expression of lumens over a certain amount of surface area, plummets like crazy at just two or three feet away from the light source because of the inverse square law. That means at the canopy level, even a short distance from that HID bulb, the lux value isn't that high. So how do you measure lux at the canopy? Well, with a light meter, like the one you guys just saw. This Dr. Meter LX1330B is the one I recommend in terms of build quality and accuracy. That's also below 100 bucks, and it strictly measures illuminance in both lux and foot candles. Those are the non-metric figure. I'll link to one of these in the video description. For myself, I use it when optimizing grow rooms that I walk through. These meters work great in measuring light intensity from sunlight, HID, halogen, CFL, FL, incandescent, but unfortunately they often struggle with accuracy when it comes to measuring LED fixture illuminance. 
The more spectral bands your LED fixture has, the more accurately one of these will work on it, but it's still not perfect. It's not accurate enough to properly measure two LED grow lights against each other for brightness, but it is useful to get rough numbers on illuminance from a mid-range LED fixture. When I used that meter on that 720 watt Mars Hydro LED from the last Grow Journal series, with just the vegetative mode on, it gave out about 24,000 lux at 1.5 feet away, and 9,700 lux at 2.5 feet away, which is perfectly acceptable and reminds us why LED lights should be kept closer to the canopy when compared to HID lights. On flowering mode, the light gave 32,000 lux at 1.5 feet away, and 12,500 lux at 2.5 feet away. When I put the meter too close to the light, like less than one foot, which would cause burns anyway, the meter jumped to 54,000 lux. If my regular viewers recall, I had about an 18 inch long string hanging off the light to indicate what I felt was the ideal distance, and the measurements that I took did in fact show that that was a good distance. If you want to measure illuminance with a high level of accuracy, even in LED lights, you unfortunately need a more expensive tool called an illuminance spectrometer. Someday I'll be able to splurge on one of those, hopefully when I get even more lovely sponsors, like today's sponsor TNB Naturals, who make the uh, Enricher right here, which is a plant nutrient. I'll link down to them in the video description as well. And that's pretty much all I had to say on Illuminance, guys. If you enjoyed yourself, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. And we'll see you back here next time on Lex's World.